Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. In this tech note, I'm going to show you how to upload files to an ESP8266 or ESP32. Again, using the SD filing system, although fairly easy to convert to the SBI flash filing system. Here's the server running. I've now added an upload capability so it's on the button in the center or on the bottom line I've kept in the directory for the time being so I can select upload but first I'll just check the directory to see what's on the card and just for reference those are the files that are on the SD card on the file server I'll call it a file server I'll press upload and now I can either click the browse button or click in the field and when I do I can select the file I wish to upload I'll select that test file there enter and then upload the file there it is complete that's how quick it is uploaded upload.txt file size 51 bytes complete the bytes at the end changes to kilobytes or megabytes. Uh, so there's a directory and there it is now showing up as being in the SD filing system. To recap then, it's an ESP32 or an ESP8266 with a SD card reader. Plug-in shield types ideally, don't have to be, or cabled as I've shown there for an external type. But make sure on the ESP32 there's a 1K normally uh, or 4K7 or a 10K. Any pull-up resistor on the master in slave out line. Otherwise it won't function. On the left I'm de depicting the ESP running as a web server waiting for a client to connect. And it's displaying that web page there with download and upload options. Next I'll request the directory of the SD card just to check what's on the card um, but please note in the version I'm going to upload to github it does not include the directory capability yet uh, there'll be more of that in forthcoming videos as I work my way through the uh, the cap various capabilities I'll request an upload and you get presented with this input field Again, click in the box or click the browse button to select the file for upload. The server responds with a file download dialog box. Select the file you wish to upload. You can either double click it or type in the file name in the file name box. When the transfer is complete, it uh, gives advice of the file that was uploaded and the file size and just to reiterate the file size is scaled in um, k or mega or giga so if the file size is such it will report the file size to the nearest uh, three decimal places there's one f final check a requested directory and there is the file that's been uploaded in summary then using the web server HTTP hypertext transfer protocol and HTML as the interface enables a very quick and easy interface for file download upload erasing and directory um, that function of listening for a client connection is very efficient and it only needs to be called when you actually connect. Um, yes, it works. It all works very reliably. And in forthcoming videos, I'll cover how to delete files and stream them and do that directory function. And I'll culminate all that together as a sort of comprehensive file server or using an ESP. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful.